Hello there, welcome to Disney Parks Addict. Today, we'll be taking a look at all the rides and attractions found at Legoland Japan for 2023. Opening in 2017, this was the second Legoland to open in Asia after Legoland Malaysia and the eighth worldwide. It is located in Nagoya, the fourth biggest city in Japan, and also includes a Legoland hotel and a sea life aquarium. You enter the park into the first area simply called Factory. Here is where you can find the Big Shop, the main merchandise location that is the perfect place to grab a park exclusive Lego set or souvenir at the end of your day. You can also find some dining locations and the main customer services building offering locker and stroller rentals as well as the Lego Factory Tour. This is a walkthrough attraction that details all the history of the Lego company, along with the working machines that creates everyone's favorite building blocks. At the end of your tour, you'll be given a complimentary gift, a fresh piece of Lego straight off the production line. The next land, Bricktopia, takes up most of the front section of the park and includes exciting attractions for all ages, as well as some great building experiences. First up is Imagination Celebration, a teacup style ride that is great fun for all the family. You can choose to spin as fast as you want in your cup sweet ride car or just enjoy a nice relaxing ride. Next is Cat Cloud Busters, where you will need to work hard to hoist up the tower towards the cat clouds before enjoying a relaxing free fall back to earth. You can have some great fun at the play center that includes four exciting activities. On the ground floor is Build and Test, a place where you can test your different Lego creations. Build and race your very own Lego car, test your skyscraper against an earthquake, or see how your models fly through the air with many more exciting challenges. And next door in Rebuild the World, a place for guests for all ages to build, unbuild, and rebuild the world of their dreams. Let your imaginations run wild as you you help to create a magical wonderland. On the second floor, you can take a class with a master builder in the creative workshop who will share some advanced building techniques. Classes can fill up quick and are split into various age groups, so make sure you head here early to book a spot. This floor also includes the robotic play center where you can learn to build and program your very own Lego robot. All the classes are in Japanese, but are quite easy to follow along using the visual guides. Back into the center of Bricktopia, you won't be able to miss the observation tower. This brightly colored 360 degree observation deck takes you up 60 meters, giving you great views of Legoland Japan, the Nagoya skyline, and the beautiful coastal scenery. In front of the tower is Brick Party, a fun carousel ride that doesn't feature the regular horses. You can choose from a selection of Lego and Duplo creations, including lots of different animals and vehicles, making this perfect for everyone to enjoy. The younger guests will love the Duplo Valley, a fully covered outdoor playground with lots of play features created with life-size Duplo blocks and characters. They can also take a ride on the Duplo Express, the fun train ride that is also decorated and created using giant Duplo blocks. Bricktopia also includes the fun show Lego Ninjago Live. This amazing show features spectacular puppetry and awesome 4D projection mapping effects that really brings the Ninjago world to life. The show is in Japanese, but it's definitely worth a watch for all the amazing scenery and puppets. As with all my guides, I'll head around the park clockwise, which takes us to the next land, Pirate Shores. You will first come to Anchors Away, which is a pirate ship that can spin in both directions while swaying along the U-shaped track. Luckily, this attraction is not water-based, so can be enjoyed throughout the year. The main attraction here is Splash Battle, where you will need to navigate through pirate-infested waters. You will get wet on this attraction, as each seat comes with its very own water cannon, which allows you to shoot at the various targets along the way and other riders. And non-riders can also take part by using the various cannons that surround this fun attraction. Nearby, young pirates can climb aboard a fun play ship in the Castaway Camp. It features rope bridges, slides, and climbing nets spread over the upper and lower decks. This is great fun for children of all ages. We now move on to the next land, Lego Ninjago World. Here you can learn the ways of spinjitsu and become a fellow ninja by trying all of the activities within this amazing land. You can try out your skills on Cole's rock climbing wall and Jay's lightning drill before having a ride on the three attractions. 
Lloyd's Spin Jitsu Spinners gives you the choice of experience. You can hold the button to completely send your right car into a 360 degree vertical spin or simply enjoy a nice relaxing ride spinning around this exciting attraction. Next is Kai's Sky Master, another spinning attraction that allows you to shoot into the sky or stay close to the ground. All riders have a laser gun giving you the chance to shoot at all the various targets around the attraction and other ride vehicles. And the final attraction is Flying Ninjago, the most thrilling ride of them all. This is a training device for riding your very own dragon. Again, riders have a choice of how thrilling the experience will be as you will be able to control how your seat spins as you fly around. You can choose to do as many barrel rolls as you please or simply enjoy the attraction without any spinning. If you're enjoying the guide so far, don't forget to hit the like button as it helps us to spread the video to new viewers. We now head to the Knight's Kingdom that features a life-size Lego castle, amazing dining locations, and some great attractions. For the thrill seekers, you can ride the awesome steel family coaster called the Dragon. You begin this ride inside the enchanted Lego castle before bursting outside aboard the beautiful green dragon. Everyone will love this awesome roller coaster. And if you're not quite ready for the dragon, you can ride the Dragon's Apprentice, a kiddie coaster themed with baby Lego dragons and runs along a fun and relaxing track. Next up is Merlin's Flying Machines, a pedal-powered spinning machine that with the help of Merlin sends its riders into the sky as you pedal faster, or you can simply take a relaxing ride closer to the ground. And finally, you can climb aboard a magical wooden train on Merlin's Challenge. This Himalaya flat ride will have you spinning round and round as Merlin uses his magic on this fun and exciting adventure. We now move on to one of the largest lands in the park, Lego City. Let the kids become grown-ups with all the fun activities it has to offer. You will first come to the Rescue Academy. You and your team will need to take control of a fire truck as you race to put out the fire in this fun competitive team attraction that is great for all the family. You can also find the Palace Cinema that plays an original awesome 4D Lego film which includes some amazing special effects like wind and rain. The showtimes rotate between various LEGO 4D films, so make sure you grab a map as you enter the park for all the up-to-date showtimes. Next door, at the Police Building Experience, you can join in and build the amazing LEGO City and help the LEGO Police to find all the hidden bad guys scattered around this fun build. Next up is Driving School, where younger riders can transform into a police officer, firefighter, taxi driver, or a citizen of LEGO City and traverse the many roads on this exciting course. It's open to children between the ages of 6 and 13 and you can even get your very own Legoland driving license in the nearby store. And even younger riders that are between 3 and 5 can also join in the fun at the Junior Driving School, a miniature version of the previous attraction. You can enjoy another building experience at the Rainbow Design Studio. Here you can try building with Lego friends and Lego dots, or simply relax by reading the various books on offer. You can take flight at the City Airport, where you can ride your very own colourful Duplo-inspired planes. Choose how high or low you wish to fly, making it perfect for all aspiring young pilots. Opposite is Coast Guard HQ, which gives you the chance to captain your very own LEGO themed boat and test your navigating skills on the calm waters of the LEGO City Lake. And on its own private island in the middle of the lake is the Wharf. This is where younger guests can climb, explore and play above or below deck on this fun themed outdoor playground. Also, during the summer months, you can enjoy the LEGO City Beach Party, a splash pad complete with plenty of slides, water cannons and lots of water features, making it the perfect way to cool down in the hot weather. Although this experience is free for everyone, you will need to make a reservation before entering the attraction. You can also try out the Build a Boat experience, where you will need to design and build your own LEGO boat and then try it out on this exciting water course against other builders. The next area is simply named Adventure and has a mixed theme of 1920s Egypt and water exploration. First up is Cargo Ace, the flying adventure ride that gives young pilots the chance to soar through the air on one of the eight special LEGO planes. In the secret chamber of Amset Ra, you will enter a world of ancient ruins filled with the hieroglyphics in this LEGO adventure themed building area. Parents can take a load off and relax in the special seated area. 
Next door is the Lost Kingdom Adventure. Take part in this fun shooting dark ride that will take you through some tombs as you use your lasers against Lego mummies, skeletons and other spooky foes. This is a great attraction to compete against your family and friends to see who can get the highest score. Kids will love Pharaoh's Revenge, the fully covered outdoor interactive play area that gives you the chance to climb and explore as well as shooting soft foam balls at your enemies. You can also try Beetle Bounce, the dual junior drop tower ride that will launch riders into the air before returning back to the adventure. For the water exploration section of the land, you will love the submarine adventure. Here is where you can board a real submarine as you submerge into a huge water tank filled with Lego decorations and a wide selection of beautiful sea creatures. And the final ride in the land is Squid Surfer, another great place to cool down, as you will need to steer your vessel to dodge the various water cannons and also try to splash other riders. Again, non-riders can also take part by controlling the different water cannons surrounding the attraction. It is now time to move on to the final land in this guide, and no Legoland will be complete without a mini land. Filled with lots of amazing replicas of popular Japanese sites and attractions, you'll be able to find Nagoya and Kyoto alongside major cities like Tokyo and Osaka. Over 10 million bricks were used to create all these models that are filled with so much detail and it's great fun to look for all the hidden easter eggs throughout this awesome land. This area is centrally based and can be accessed by most of the lands in the park except for Knight's Kingdom and Lego City. Legoland Japan is easily accessed by the bus routes and metro lines and although the park's attractions are all in Japanese, it is an internationally friendly park and all the staff are extremely accommodating. I hope you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing as we continue to make attraction guides for all the theme parks around the world. Check out this video for Universal Studios Japan and I'll see you next time on Disney Parks Addict.